Get ready for another delicious dose of Lucky Time Explosion! Wow! What day is this? It's April 3rd. Oh man, is that um is that a Wednesday? What I don't know what day of the week we're at. It is Wednesday. And I just wanna let people know we've been updating our Patreon. If you want to become an official Lucky Timer, things are gonna start piling up. You are gonna be rewarded for giving us love. So definitely check it out, the Patreon. Uh, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. Give us, give us thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, Morgan's got subscribe. like an archive, a huge archive of weird video clips and uh, audio clips that have never seen the light of day. That's They've right. They've been hiding in a hard drive. They're too weird to not be seen, so come on over and we'll yes. see you. Yes. Anyway, today we have a guest. It is Alex Sherpanova, who is a painter here. Uh, she's a member of the studio and somebody who has her own YouTube channel where she's going out to all these different galleries. Uh, I kind of like, I'm, I, I trust you and I rely on you to be my eyes and ears in Chelsea. Okay. <laughs> What's yeah. been going on with you? You want to tell people a little bit about your practice and who you um, are? Yes, of course. So, um, you know, it's, it's interesting uh, stuff. So uh, I'm uh, going on Chelsea and Soho and everywhere in Manhattan and uh, sometimes in Brooklyn too, mostly in Manhattan. And I keep in vlog about uh, art in New York City. So I'm, I'm recording um, interview with artists. Sometimes it's uh, just gallery and uh, it depends. So in my blog can be like a really luxury gallery, like a Gossian and uh, like uh, David Zwinger and other stuff. And also it can be exhibited in, in bar and also it can be everything. So like everybody have chance to be in my vlog. Nice. <laughs> You're ranging the gamut from the lowbrow to the high, <laughs> the highbrow. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like, do you see, do you feel like there's a big difference in, uh, in art between like the smaller shows and the big, big galleries? Yes, it is big difference, of course. Uh, and it's, uh, you uh, feel completely different way. Uh, like uh, this, you know, old man word from, from Chelsea. And it's like completely different, like young people word from um, like, pop-up uh, gallery or how it's called mm -hmm. so it's uh, can be and now it's like very popular options also it's like art party what i like a lot so it's like uh, you come in uh, you have art on the wall you have some drink you have some music you're dancing and other stuff so it is starting to be more like this one and i like this a lot also. nice do you have any uh, favorite picks or recommendations for like galleries in the city for anyone listening who wants to go out and see a good show uh it's it depends so sometimes you can come in a good gallery and it can be really bad show and sometimes mm. it's a positive and uh, you never know so that's, that's why i'm starting to keep this block also because uh, it's not always depends from uh, like a uh, gallery name because gallery can be fancy but honestly it's like when, when you come in it can be very disappointed and a positive and sometimes it can be also in small places can be good so in a big gallery also it's uh, you can feel this different wave and uh, sometimes it's deaf artists there so i'm usually don't recording deaf artists but depends mm. could you could you uh yelp galleries what are galleries <laughs> on yelp uh, that's <laughs> actually i'm sure they are right you know yelp no no I don't know. it's like anybody can write a review for a place Mm. You can give it from zero stars to four stars. Ah, uh, I understand. So no, no, I, I'm not, I don't. So it's it's not how it's how it's work. So, but uh, the thing is, if you like research, like top gallery of New York, yeah, like top ten, and you uh, can find top ten gallery, and usually it is gallery like uh, high quality, and you can find like. Uh, million dollars artist there. So yeah, one of the big like four, like a Gozian yeah. or Pace or something. Yes, yes. You know what? I have an idea for a YouTube channel. That's funny. Okay. There's a trend going around right now. I don't know if you guys are watching like a lot of YouTube lately, but I've been watching uh, a lot of stuff where people go out to try the worst of things. So they go to Yelp, and this is what made me think about it. They go to Yelp and they go to all the places. They set like art galleries and they go review, sort by worst. You know, so you go to like one star places and this kid was flying all over the country uh, to go to like the ones like one star restaurants and just to see if it was that bad or review it. And uh, 
That's really popular right now. I don't know if there's enough. I wonder how many art spaces on Yelp have like one star. <laughs> okay, yeah, I invite We got to go me. to those. We got to go to those. <laughs> Let's go together. Let's yeah. Go together. Yeah, exactly. For one one star gallery, why not? I actually <laughs> ne- never think about this, maybe. <laughs> I wonder if they are. And now I'm curious. We're going to have to look it up after we're done. <laughs> we have a we have a April showcase happening here spring showcase that's here with right. Solus. are you you did you put something in the show this time? Yes. Yes. yes right we're, we're stretching it right we're doing that search sure. i'm put, put marmaid yes it's very good. part of my new city yeah yeah oh. so every quarter here at Solus, we do a showcase uh and the, the purpose of the showcase is just to give the members here a chance to show the newest stuff they've done there's really not a theme beyond you know what new work is but it's something we do every quarter. Everyone gets to put one piece in. And like I said before, you know, it's like we never we never charge to show. So people who are members here have an opportunity to show once a quarter in Manhattan for free. And I think that's really important, you know, because it's hard to see that. So there is a lot of stuff. It's kind of like a sleeper. If you've not been by one of our, I mean, it's kind of unlikely that you're listening to us if you haven't been by. <laughs> but it's possible. We're been this is growing true. every day. And if you have not, then you should definitely stop by. Wait, when, yeah. when is it? April 16th, I believe. 16th. Yeah, that should be a Tuesday. I'm excited. It's going to be a Tuesday opening, then we'll have a Saturday closing, I think, in the following week or two. But and here's the deal. You get to meet us. Yeah, wow. If you come here, you can meet us in the flesh. You know, we'll be here. You know, we won't be cardboard cutouts. We will speak to you. It'll be awesome. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a cardboard cutout now. We need to get, we need to get life-size cardboard cutouts out of the need. I agree. I remember when I found randomly on the street a uh, cardboard cutout uh, life size of Michael Jackson in his bad outfit, you know, his leather. You took that home. Oh, yeah. He lives behind my fridge. <laughs> He's still there. Michael, Michael is still alive and well. Do you ever just take it out and leave him around the house to scare your roommates? No, I don't know why I haven't done this yet. There you go. I, we're <laughs> full of ideas here. <laughs> yeah. We could talk about the crazy things that are actually recognized today. Oh, is it a day? Do it's we a have crazy days? situation today. We got some real winners. All right. Real winners. Let's hear so, it. Let's hear it. <clears throat> we speak about this every day. Well, I do, at least in my own <laughs> mind. But um, so every day there are things that are celebrated, uh, and I looked them up. I call um, this segment Too Many Holidays. So you're, you're going to like these. We have a good day. So today is officially World Party Day. Woo! Yeah. Let's get it on board! <laughs> Woo, there's so much vodka in this. <laughs> That's why, because it's World Party Day. That's right. Anything okay, else? so World Party Day. <laughs> a drop of water is a grain of gold day. What? That's this is getting shit. out of hand. I'm going to have to shut this Not down. The importance <laughs> of water. Um, day of hope. Day of hope. Yeah. Kind of bland. Yeah. Um, don't go to work unless it's fun day. <laughs> it's not a I day. swear on my life. I like this. I don't yeah. know what that. Me too. <laughs> See, that's why it's a day because most people like that. That they love it. <laughs> it's also National Fan Dance Day, Japanese culture. Nice. Okay. Fish fingers and custard day. Stop it. Get your fish, fish sticks out of your custard Stop because it. it's official, baby. Fish fingers and custard? Yes. And this is great. Ew. This is important. I, I, I didn't tell you this one. I've been holding back. Today, and this is trademarked, Independent Artist Day. Oh, oh yeah. That's hey, good. that's relevant. Celebrating the global community of independent artists and their unparalleled creativity. And that's you right now, right? Yeah, 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 you're doing that. It's You've been selling a lot more um, uh, of your news oh, yeah. series. Yes, yes, and, and, and not only. So, you know, with me, it's like uh, absolutely uh, breaking pardon uh, stuff because usually people uh, make full time job like a journalist and uh, making uh, one free time painting. And in my case, it's a positive. I'm volunteering as a journalist mm-hmm. and pay my own money for my vlog and uh, actually make my money for painting so it's like ridiculous oh <laughs> wow nice so you're 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 like a full-time artist then yes yeah excellent how many paintings are you kicking out a month uh it's it depends and it's uh, it's hard to say uh, and it's also not depends from particular number because sometimes it's small one and you know i'm uh, have like a really big difference in price it can be very very cheap um, postcard 
and this can be much more expensive uh, big painting so it depends right I'm maybe gonna... we can do a collaboration i have an idea okay what's that I'm you wrap my whole body in canvas okay and then you paint on the, the canvas, the so you have to cut a little I, hole I, so I can know, breathe. I'm not okay with uh, options to sell a human like. <laughs> <back in> my... <laughs> well, this is new. We can do an installation. You wrap me. I better, you know, go. It's to okay. The... We can sell more. Again. I have to just go to the bathroom and make <laughs> sure I could okay. lay in one position for a long time because you'll tie me up too. Uh -huh. So I'll be tied up, wrapped around in canvas, but you will have painted a body on top of the canvas, okay. like a face and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you ever see anything like this? Uh, I, I think I, I'm down for this. Let, let's do this. Have yeah. you seen this? Is no, this new no. idea? No, I think I have. Think you I like it, though? Yes. That is cool. Let's, let's yeah. Do this. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to bring you I, back. I and mean, we're going to have to wrap him up in canvas. The only thing is I have ADHD. But, yeah. you, but that would add to it. I'm like squirming. It could be really, you know, disturbing looking. And then when somebody buys this, um, they, they, have, they have to come with instructions to like water and feed you. Yes. Yeah. And how mm -hmm. you need to go to the bathroom. And How much was the uh, snowman instructions? Oh, 250K, I think. 250K? Yeah. $500,000 okay. for me. <laughs> $500,000. You're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> and then you'll be, you'll be a permanent decoration. Yeah, but like what what happened to Morgan? Ah, oh, he's, he's some in some penthouse, his 69th and 5th. And he'll just be sitting there going like, this is so nice, I don't have to work anymore. <laughs> Yet I cannot move or see the light. Would that is that worth it to you if you if you had to be wrapped up and just standing in some rich dude's house? Waiting to be fed. Put it this Would way. Would you rather do that than work? I hope not. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no way. Like, I could never be an elevator man. Like, no. I, I, I give a lot of credit to elevator man because, they, you know, not the, you don't get Just to move too much. Day. Yeah. I like mm. the ones with the stool. I could do it if I had a stool. I feel bad for the ones that have to, like, stand up in the yeah. uniform. They don't get, get a stool. Mm -hmm. People are like that a lot. That, that's a big... Uh, like thing on the internet you see all the time the cashiers are lazy they just stand there they don't need a stool it's fucked up to give them the stool and people are like oh why are you mad about people sitting and being comfortable yeah i mm -hmm. i remember when i used to do art handling i used to do deliveries to uh, the time warner building and there was this one indian guy big smug face and and uh i used to try to make him laugh and nothing i would do would make this man laugh and i felt so bad for him he just looked so <laughs> angry you know <laughs> All the time. All the time. Mm. Mm. I had a good segue from a second ago. Mm. Oh, <laughs> my brain's on fire today. It's not working. And it has nothing to do with weed, so keep no. smoking. <laughs> Does not actually have anything to do with it this time. Um, but I, oh yeah, I guess I was. Uh, I There's more to ask days. More. Sorry, if you, that, is there more days, There's, dude? I don't know. Should we? <laughs> they're, they're good well, because oh, okay, they're all yeah. good. It's National Chocolate Moose Day, which is yes. a nice thing. You like chocolate mousse? Of course, oh, I do too. Me too. National Film Score Day. Oh, mm. kind of score a movie. That's right. National Find a Rainbow Day. I found. I just went to the bathroom and whew, there it was. Um, <laughs> it's National Gray Day. National Gray Day. The color. Let me ask you a I question. Just went to the bathroom and whew, there it was. How do you spell gray? Me? Yeah. Uh, I do it with an e. You do it with an e. I'm an e. I'm an e. You're an e gray. An e gray. Nice. How do you spell gray? Uh, not asking. <laughs> <laughs> it is National Inspiring Joy Day. Ooh, let's inspire some joy. Yay, okay. Be joyful. Like that, yeah. you. This is an interesting one. National Pro-Life T-Shirt Day. This is not National Pro-Life Day. This is <laughs> National Pro-Life T-Shirt Day. I swear, Don't get I'm the two lose confused. my mind. There is <laughs> it's also National Tweed Day. Oh, stop it. National <laughs> Walking Day. It is also the profession... Para prof what is a para professional? A para professional? Yeah. Sort of professional? Is like that what we are? <laughs> yeah, we're, this is a para professional podcast. It says in the ever changing environment, the roles of para professionals are now more critical than ever. What the hell does that mean? That like, means that's, they're talking about explain. like gig economy. So like the fact that like a lot of people like do DoorDash or like work little jobs that aren't like a full time job with a salary, but you know getting paid almost on commission, like little. Little little short timey things. That's he what just it is. knows everything. I know something. It's things. also Pony Express Day. Pony Express. What yeah. is Pony Express? Pony Express it's is a, a thing. delivery service. Well, back right. in the day, yeah, they used to, you know, on the horse thief. Oh, well, Fargo <laughs> though. 
Well, really? Fargo. That's what it was? Yeah. And I only have one more. Okay. It's Thank called God. Weed Out the Hate Day. Weed Out just the Hate Day. Just gotta get it out. It has nothing to do with marijuana. Although, <laughs> if you did smoke weed, you probably hate way less. Probably. So, it makes sense. So, that's the list. Until you know, next the, the time. The more we do this... The more we do this segment, the more like rage filled I become. Like, it's like I'm like starting to fill up with con- just a contempt for people who make holidays. Well, it just it's tells too me. Many. It's yeah, just too many. With this, it, it only inspires me to form an official national holiday. I See, don't know what problem. it is yet. I don't know what we'll come up with. We still have to figure this out. There's um, too many people thinking like that. But was... before we, we shed our mortal coil. Uh huh. We have to we have to lock down on a national holiday. All if right. anybody has any ideas for a national holiday, let us know. You can comment on our YouTube, or you can comment on our YouTube. Yes, <laughs> or you can comment on this YouTube. Mm-hmm. You can do that too, mm-hmm. or you can comment on Alex's YouTube. Actually, we never said, yeah. Alex, where can people see your YouTube? What's it called? Uh, it's called Best Art in uh, in UC. So it's. Like, Best art in yes, NYC. Yes, and you actually can just research Alexander Cherepanova artist and also find my YouTube. Nice, it'll come up. I like that. That's um, it's real ballsy of you. That's a lot. Of, that's a, the best art. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, you know. Uh, we have the best artists in in New York City. That's right. Of course. Yeah, try to get her on your <laughs> show. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it's yeah, right. accidentally mixing uh, like this, but yes. So it's uh, the thing is, uh, I'm uh, chosen best uh, best art in in my opinion. Of yeah. course, so I cannot be responsible for as a person opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a chosen, and it's like I say before, it's no matter. It can be small gallery, big gallery. It can be sometimes it's studio artist. So sometimes I come in an artist studio and recording. I would say those are cool. Do. I really like doing artist studio visits. Yeah, it's really cool to see everyone's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I like to go and rifle through their things and go like, what are you making art with? This there was cool. a critic that came by to look at my stuff about four years ago, and uh, he's still in my closet. <laughs> Never let the guy go. Never let the guy go. Smart. Yeah. He's okay, though. So he don't seems do a happy. Studio visit he doesn't talk it. much anymore, though. And he smells <laughs> kind of funky. <laughs> so weird. Somebody check on him. <laughs> Oh my god, that is good. Do you have a favorite video that people could watch? Like a, a recommended of your own? Um, I don't know. Honestly, what I can say for now, I'm uh, starting to separate more strongly my own video about my own art and about uh, everybody's art. I'm, I'm making long video for everybody and short in YouTube shorts for mine. Mm-hmm. So it just organically happened. So started. where were you born exactly? What part of Russia? Uh, Moscow. Moscow. Moscow region. Yeah. Very mm-hmm. cool. Uh, my um, grandfather was born in Minsk, oh. Belarus. It's a Belarus. It's, it's different country. Different. But it's, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know what this is. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. The Russian Jews. <laughs> Tiny yeah. people. Me, me, the Russian <laughs> Jews. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tiny? Did you thing? used to watch a lot? Were you ever yes. inspired because... Uh, there's a lot of great old school Russian cartoons. A lot of an- great animation has come from Russia. Um, um, and one of my favorite, his name is uh, Ivan Maximov. Mm-hmm. And do you, have you ever heard of him? Uh, I, I don't think so. I don't actually remem- remember names, but it's not means I don't know him. Right. Uh, sometimes. If you've never heard of Ivan Maximov, I hope I'm saying his name correctly. He was doing animation in the mid 80s and he never really stopped. But he, the aesthetics of the work look like it could be from the 60s or the 70s with the grainy mm-hmm. textures and the colors. Uh, I'll definitely have to share it with you because it, he, he uses, he flipped the flash because mm-hmm. obviously you can get stuff done quicker. It definitely lost that analog beauty though, although he still kept it in his own way. But um, definitely check out Ivan Maximov. He's awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alex, you've been doing a lot of um, like abstract art, and now you're doing a lot more figurative work. Uh, um, I always, I love abstract stuff so much. Do you mm-hmm. find that like the the figured stuff is easier to sell though? Uh, it's no? not. It's not only stuff of selling, honestly. And you know, it's also like mistake people thinking, okay, I start making erotic stuff, and it's gonna sell no. Right. It's, it's, not, it's not how it's work. It's, it's you can't much just more paint com- boobs and, and expect yes. some money. It's it's, yeah. it's much more complicated. So yeah. uh, the thing is, when uh, people 
people know me like uh, nude painting and uh, people buy mostly nude. But after this, they start in interest in other stuff too. Mm. After this, they start in interest in abstract painting. I also make some animal painting, mm. you know, with with dog and stuff like this. It's also people like this too. And uh, it's in first, it's just like you have people attention, and then yeah. uh, you can make other stuff in general too. My last uh, stuff what I'm do now is um, also nude painting, but with mermaid. And it's a little bit different. So the difference is like nobody get until I say this. It's actually painting with AI. With AI? Yes. Uh-oh. So it's like uh, if it's not, not acceptable, <laughs> you can no. cut this out. We talk about it all the time. It, so, it's impossible not to talk about AI with yeah. art. It's just so, so yeah. prevalent. So the thing is I'm making like a sketches with AI and then making handmade pa- uh, painting with uh, You're using it in the iteration process. Yes. Yeah. So and it's you know it's why painting still exists because everything yeah. what happening we just grab and put in painting. Photograph happening we put it in painting. Right. So like AI happening we put it in painting. And also I coming back little bit with stuff what I don't do long time. I'm used to make fantasy painting a lot. I'm fantasy used, painting. Yes. Oh. Like uh, with dragon, magician, Paris, and other stuff. Oh, you ever paint a unicorn? Right. Uh, unicorn is not my thing, but no, yes. but ma- but, but, but magicians, magicians, yes, Pegasus, wizards, a lot, honestly. wizards and dragons. Yes. That's my shit. I yeah. love, I love that stuff. Wizards, yeah. wizards, <laughs> literal wizards, literal <laughs> wizards. <laughs> That's a throwback like to a wizards. commercial we made. We'll play it. Yeah. So yes, I just believe uh, AI is like really organically good for fantasy painting. Interesting. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for fantasy stuff, yeah. give you a lot of reference material. Yeah. Yeah, the argument people make is like, you know, those images are compiled from things that are not, ele- you know, that haven't been reimbursed for it and that they should get paid for it. And I agree on that. If your work's in there and you don't want it to be out, you should be able to get it off the registry. Everyone keeps on like in AI art these days. I, I see the trend. Everyone's like, uh, make collage in a style of Morgan Jesse Lappin. <laughs> and like yes. everyone is doing this. Yeah. And I'm getting so upset. And I just, just want screwed. all this money for all the torture that I've been going through because everyone in their mother is like, yeah. I just want my artwork <laughs> to look like Morgan Jesse Lappin. And, I just, and yeah. it just, I wish, I wish I could do it in real life, but I have to utilize AI to make it like Morgan <laughs> Lappin. <laughs> You, um, yeah. Sorry. It can okay. be for good and for bad, you know, technology is always, we can use things yeah. Yeah. for good and for bad. Do you think it's making people stupider, though? I, I, I mean, everyone worries about I that. Think, and, I think yeah. we've been on a downward spiral well before, <laughs> well before. artificial intelligence. Again, uh, watch Idiocracy. Yeah, it's it the closest a, thing to reality it's a that we have. It you is a prophecy. You don't use AI, though, for your, like... Um, abstract paintings i would imagine no, no. no for abstract painting i don't need this i'm just yeah. have this feeling and I, I keep going alex is like one of the people that i can commiserate with about uh, abstract expressionism because mm. for the most part people just mm. kind of go like mm. like they don't, they don't know what to do with it you know what i mean they yes. either love it or they hate it or they just go like i don't get that at all yeah. so help me defend it how do we defend it what's a good way to say why it's good i always try to Mm. defend it like saying that i think that abstract art have pure abstract expressionism like you know the big mother wells and all the uh, franz klein and stuff i love it because it's like the least pretentious kind of art in my opinion and the reason i say that is because pretension means that you know it's a it's assuming things. It's making a presumption on something. It's more honest uh, art ever, I, I'm agree. Yeah, so. because it doesn't really, I mean, sometimes I feel like you can get the pretentious stuff where the abstract expressionist comes when the artist mm-hmm. is getting really into their mental stuff about it and like talking about how it's a hill and from their childhood or whatever. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, myself included, uh, and I think you, for the most part, we don't really say like, oh, this is supposed to be some really deep complex thing it's just Mm -hmm. like we're doing this we're playing with color and form in the simplest way and just seeing what we like you know yes as a child did you have any favorite hills any favorite hills yeah i didn't have that many hills i grew up in coronado in san diego there's not a lot of hills there it's very flat very flat i feel like being a child without hills is a sad thing yeah to be hillless (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, you grow up, you see a hill, you see them in movies, and you're like, I just want to run up to the top of that hill, and, yeah. and here you are, you look, you walk outside, you look around, it, there's no hills. That's what happened to me, you know. I You can't uh, feel like a kid. As a kid, you're like, I, I saw all the kids on the movies <laughs> running down yeah. in the slides, all the kids Except. would get in, in their snowsuits, and... They're having so much fun with their sled, and then I would get all dressed up, and I would open the door, and it's seventy-two degrees and flat because I live in when Southern was California. The first, when was the first time you you sleigh rode? Actually, believe it or not, I did not see snow in my in person till I was nineteen years old. That's why you don't lost much, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I like it more than most people now. Because like people who grew up with it are like, oh, fuck snow. Yeah, but it doesn't even snow in New York anymore. So your days of snow are over, man. It's true. It's true. It doesn't. Sucks. So sad. Turn into rain. Acid rain. Now you walk outside. You're like, I'm burning. What a horrible world. <laughs> like today, it was just a, ugh. The nothing Yucky. day. Yeah, it's going to rain straight through today, Disgusting. too, until tomorrow, too. Yeah. That's how I know I'm old, is because I just, you know, I'm automatically talking about the weather. It's so easy yeah, for me now. Just like, eh, mm. the rain's up there. It's wet. Yeah, like I, at 7 Eleven, where I go in the morning each day before I come here. I'm like, man, it's horrible outside. He's like, yes, I know. I have a great doorman in my building who today when I was leaving, he always is like, okay, have a good and safe day, sir. Like, you know, pretty simple, says mm. the same thing every time. But sometimes they'll say extra things and he's always funny. I'm like, He's like, it's raining. And I'm like, yep, beautiful weather. He's like, can't do nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone that just stands there and he's like, he's just like, life fucking sucks. I'm like, yeah. you got it, brother. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm not going to happen. I don't want Thanks that. for wishing. Give me the fake happy smile <laughs> when I'm coming home. I, I'll take it. I want the raw and like, just like upset, horrible. Like, I just, I don't even know if I want to go home tonight. It'll be a service, a, a dormant. It's like just so having a miserable time so you feel better about your own life. There you mm. go. There's yeah. a psychology right there. Yikes. <laughs> well, yeah. I am excited about the show coming up. I have something special I'm going to be putting Ooh. in the show in April, which might be a surprise. Well, you might what have to come by. What do you both are planning to put in the, in the show? So. It's a surprise. surprise? Okay. Mm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, I'm a collage artist. Um, it's a piece that I took uh, from a record, um, and I collaged his hair. I went over the hair with uh, hundreds of hair pieces from comic books, from characters. Mm -hmm. So I created like a wig of paper hair mm -hmm. for this particular character. Nice. So that is what I be, I'll be showing. The wig boy. Cool. I've seen the wig boy. Yeah, I have a few. I have a few. Yeah. yeah. You should make like a monster. I want out to. of hair. I hair could. Monster. You could. You have enough hair clips. I do. I do. I just yeah. sit in front of my computer and I cut all day. Yay. My life's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to get out of here. Alex, do you have anything to plug? Anything you want to talk about? Um, I think, I, you know, I told you everything in general. You can find me in Instagram. YouTube, Facebook, whatever. We nice. have interrogate, interrogated her. We got all the answers. All right. Mm. Yeah. Tell me where to go. Tell me where the art is. Where's the treasure? Uh, we'll yes, if, you, if you're interested in, you know, to watch an art and if, if you're in Manhattan it's, and you don't know where you're supposed to go, uh, uh, usually on Chelsea it's every every Thursday. Yep. Uh, you, can, uh, you can go there. Uh, and uh, very often in Soho it's very fr every Friday. So... Oh, it's like a very common situation. Not always, but very often it's like this. Nice. nice. Just like Lucky Time Explosion every yes. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And don't forget to wow. follow the Patreon, become an official Lucky Timer. It's just $5 a month, and I'm going to be shoveling all sorts of magical things into that <laughs> Patreon treasure chest for you to go ape shit over. Nice. So please yeah, sign check up. out Best Star, check out Alex Bernova, and we will see you next time. Yay! Bye! Thank you for listening to Lucky Time Explosion. Watch the video edition on Patreon, a green screen extravaganza experience available exclusively to official Lucky Timers. This episode was recorded at Sola Studios in Manhattan, New York, helping artists make cool shit since 2016.